going to talk to you now about the Scottish police who've gone completely bonkers with this new hate crime act that they've got coming into force on April the 1st. You couldn't make it up. They've got an actual hate monster cartoon warning <laughs> folks that they could become criminals at any moment. Apparently, we're all just one bad day away from committing a hate crime, according to the SNP's Orwellian thought police. I tell you what, George Orwell, in his grave, must be spinning, thinking, why didn't I think of that and write that down? It's an absolute disgrace. To talk more about this and what's going to happen, we've got a comedian because he comes cheap. And, uh, <laughs> it is, of course, Leo Curse. Leo, thank you very much for your company. Good to be here. I've just got to correct you on, uh, on one thing. The, the Scottish police didn't bring this through. It was the SNP. The S Humza of Yusuf in, per in particular, he was Justice Minister when the bill was formulated. The Scottish Police Federation have actually spoken out against this bill because they say it's, it moves from criminalising deeds to criminalising thought. And that's, that's a huge issue. I mean, this, this bill is so vaguely worded. Uh, basically, if anybody perceives anybody else uh, as, as stirring up hatred based on uh, based on somebody's protected characteristics which are uh, which are uh, gender identity race age things like that then they can they can they can be guilty of uh, of committing a hate crime but there, there doesn't have to be a victim there doesn't have to be any evidence in fact the guidance given to the police says uh, says evidence isn't isn't required at all and you shouldn't push for evidence it's all based on the perception in the head of the person reporting it all this means is that there's going to be loads of malicious uh, accusations yeah. of hate crimes that can't be it can't be proven or, or disproven Benjamin Butterworth says he's already filed one about you. So, good, you know, good luck returning north of the border. But you're right, though. The police readily admit, right, that they'll be making subjective decisions about what you can and can't say, which, in other words, means that they can arrest you on a whim, essentially, for an interpretation of what the legislation is. But, Leo, could you explain why comedians, uh, plays and performances, they could actually be targeted under what I deem as a, a legislative monstrosity? Yeah, well, the uh, politicians in Scotland were were keen while the while the uh, bill was being formulated. They said, "Oh no, we're not going to we're not going to target plays. We're not going to target comedians." But the training that's being given to the police uh, says that the hate speech can occur on stage as part of a performance. Uh, you know, somebody could misgender Cinderella. Uh, you know, maybe maybe a comedian says, uh, "Why did the chicken cross the road?" And that's offensive to a vegan. So you know, anything uh, can. Be, can be seen as, as and obviously as comedians, you're always pushing against um, sort of uh, sensibilities. You're pushing against what the you know what, what is seen as acceptable. So uh, so it's going to be incredibly. Why difficult. do the well, SNP so have such low expectations or low thoughts of their own population to think that they need this type of legislation to control the uh, rampant hate? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's this idea in the SNP that Scotland's this land of bigots, just you know, chomping at the bit to to you know commit hate crimes and be racist and all the rest. And that, that's an absolute no. Instance, Scotland's a very warm and welcoming country. I'm surprised that it's got a, a government that, that hates it so much. And in fact, the only real hatred, the, the hatred that you see in Scotland is from the SNP towards English people and towards Tories. Yeah, I mean, Benjamin, you must even look at this law and think that actually there is a, a bigotry by the SNP here because it's clearly aimed to target those of pesky, socially disadvantaged white working class blokes and their horrible views. Well, no, because I think that's really insulting to suggest that white working class people somehow hold bigoted views. I think you've well, just we don't. put your we've foot in there. Ben no, Benjamin, no, that's, no, I don't know. Benjamin, that's exactly what the what the, um, the, the, the video that was put out to publicise yeah. the Hate Crime Act, that's exactly what the SNP said. The hate the, and, and what Police Scotland said, they said, this is targeted at young white men from, uh, from un underprivileged backgrounds, they're basically saying white working class men are uh, racist and bigoted and need to be yeah, muzzled by the government. Did they actually say that? Yes, it, it literally specifically said that. Gosh. Look, you know, Leah, I don't know why you're so against things like trans self-ID because you continue to self-identify as a comedian uh, despite that diatribe. Now, look, oh, wow. I haven't you... heard that a million times before from you. <laughs> Jesus, you need, you need to write some new jokes or maybe you try must... writing one joke. You must understand <laughs> that 
hate <laughs> is the most oppressive thing that can happen in a society. Hate is subjective. And do you not recognise that what this law that the Scottish government has brought in... Hate is the most oppressive thing in a society. Maybe, for you, maybe the worst thing please. that happens to you is like somebody says, what about your horrible stinky clothes? Man... In a real <laughs> oppressive society, people get people get beaten, people get killed. Look at Navalny in Russia. Look at look at the women in Iran and all these other regimes that you probably support because you're left wing. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think the Revolutionary Guard or Putin is a great marker of a society that's succeeding. Look, what you need to explain to me, I've been a victim of a hate crime and I managed to get a conviction. Someone threatened to stab me for being gay on a train. I said, how did you know I was gay? It was a mystery to this day. But the fact is that all they got is a £400 <laughs> fine. So I think it's right that hate crime laws are toughened up. Yeah, because victims like me have had pathetic consequences for the perpetrators. That's not, that's not just a hate crime, that's a crime. You threaten to stab someone. Yeah, sorry that happened to you, Benjamin. Yes. Look, Leo, do you not understand that you have to tackle the kind of bigotry that still exists in Scottish society? <laughs> the bigotry that still exists in Scottish <laughs> Why society. Scotland? Oh my god. Oh my god, where's where's that where's that? I'll pay that guy's fine. <laughs> Can we see the hate monster? I'll pay that guy's fine. I think we've actually got the hate I'll monster. I'll pay that guy's fine. <laughs> It looks like a... Uh... This is the hate monster. It looks a bit phallic, to be honest. It looks like... You know, um... I don't know what yours looks like. But I have... <laughs> <laughs> Good grief, guys. But this is the hate monster. So what has that got to do with white working class men? Just Oh, no, interest... that, that wasn't the actual video. That right. was just the hate monster itself. But the video, right. it's... I... Leo, did they end up taking the video down? They did end yeah. up taking the video down because uh, because people thought it was a bit silly to be advertising something for adults using uh, you know using something that looks like it's for it's for children and you know they've they've drastically mis misjudged the public mood. I think we're seeing you know left wing governments around the world starting to starting to crumble as it's revealed that they're so out of touch with what the people actually want. Varadkar just had just had to resign in Ireland after a right -wing disastrous winger. referendum. Oh, I think oh, Hamza is going right. We're going to have to we'll have to end it there but I, I think uh, you know I think this act really is terrifying for free speech and for democracy itself frankly but Leo what have you got coming up on your show so at 8pm tonight tune in for the Saturday night showdown I've got why Putin is woke I've got uh, the craziest story I've ever seen it's a grown man uh, terrifying children in a women's changing room and uh, and a woman uh, took a photo of him and complained to the staff at the front desk in the gym and she had her uh, had her membership banned yeah but uh, leo their, of, their share of... price has tanked they've lost about 600 million haven't they yep that's uh, that's absolutely right Good. it's another go woke go broke absolutely all right we look forward to that leo kiss thank you very much as ever